We're recording. Oh, yay. And it's on you. Oh, lovely. Welcome to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. I still have my headphones on that I don't need. Thanks didn't for e- letting me know. Didn't even know. Didn't even know. They just fit so perfectly. And on today's episode, we're going to talk about marriage and divorce. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Okay, fine. She said so. It is what I said. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. I'm your genius co-host, Andrew. This is the my beautiful wife co-host, Nona. Spelled with one N, an accent mark over the O. Not like your Italian grandma. Okay. Just made up word. Everything is made up. <laughs> Not all of us can have boring names like you, Andrew. Hey. It's just something that the government needs to identify me. People call me whatever they want. Asshole. People call me the bacon father. People call me the cool guy on earth. I don't know who these people are, but I haven't met them yet. They're there. They exist. I am? <laughs> mm-hmm. If you think he's the coolest person to ever exist, please leave your uh, review in the comments. Can, can I help you? No. I'm just kidding. Within the first couple seconds of the video, you know, I got to keep it PG. You got to make sure that no moms against... Moms showing cleavage groups show up in the comments trying to cancel us. He likes to assert his dominance everywhere we go, touching my boobs in public, private, etc. Hey, but I do it with a hint of class. I'm sorry, but <laughs> how is any of that classy? Classy with a capital K? Yeah. Welcome to episode three. We're glad that you... Have stuck through episodes one and two or Pot- skipped through. Potentially decided that we were tolerable enough to try a third episode. Some settings have changed. Um, the cameras are not on battery now, so that'll help. Or not the cameras, the... The lighting. <laughs> the lights, yeah. They're literally just Walmart ring lights that I bought so that the girls could do little videos years ago. And they <laughs> sat in the box. So now they're helping. Plus a streaming light. That, it's called a streaming light, but I don't stream. I guess now I do since I'm a podcaster. Are you a podcaster? I am a podcaster. I'm official. Official. What? Make the plaque. Make the plaque right now. Official podcast host. Coolest guy ever loves bacon. And okay. his wife. Okay. I love how Bacon progress- came first uh, uh, lit, before uh, uh, his uh, uh, wife. Uh, uh, uh. Progress- See? Progressively, See? the font gets smaller, and then when it gets to and his wife, it's in big, bold print, so they're like, and his wife. What does Maybe. that mean? Let me read the whole caption. Okay. Say, Whatever say you it. say. <laughs> Whatever you say. Bacon will always come before me. Um, if this is your first episode, I will be sniffling and potentially coughing sometimes. I do have a cough drop in right now to help suppress some of it. Um... I have seasonal allergies, and it's pollen season in North Carolina, so I'm doing better than I was last week. If this was last week, the episodes would never air because nobody would enjoy them, and everybody would be like, I'm never listening to this shit again. Is that the downside of growing up in the Midwest? Well, we had, we had just different pollen. Everybody up there is allergic to ragweed. Born and raised here. I'm immune to this nonsense. This bullshit flying around. You're not immune. I'm immune. You're not immune. You're just acclimated. Immune. I've been here for eight. What year is this? Yeah, I've been here for eight years. It's the longest I've lived anywhere other than growing up. And you still hate it? Yeah. I'm ready for something else. Ariel, where would you move to, Andrew? I don't know. I don't have enough money to find out. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. So if you'd like to sponsor Andrew to move in with you, please comment below. We'll do a He's thirty accepting day accepting donations. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a thirty housing. day trial. Thirty day trial. Yeah. My okay. dog my dog has to come. Yes, she does. Because she she won't keep it here. She's the best dog though. According to Andrew. She's obedient. She listens. She just follows. Only to you. Yeah, exactly. Perfect dog. Most people intentionally train their dogs like that. But she's not nice. She's not a nice dog. Nobody wants their protective dog to be nice to other people. Okay. It's the entire premise. You don't want the stranger to come into your house and the dog be like, just pet me, please. I love you. You want your dog to be like, get the fuck out of my house. It's not what I was talking about, but okay. Just because she bullies other dogs. She's a good dog. Okay, whatever you say. So on this episode, we're going to talk about marriage and divorce. But before that, Andrew's going to say who is sponsoring this episode. Me. Andrew. Yep. LeeMaxMedia.com. VeteranWiki.org. NonaPhelps.com. <laughs> you can go see pictures of Nona at NonaPhelps.com. <laughs> What kind of pictures you'll find? Go find out. Let us know. Let us know yep. because we are unaware. By the time you're watching this, we might have merch on our website. That might support us. You can always you can always throw us some money on Patreon. Oh, you can join our Discord. That's also a paid avenue. These are things that have all literally just spun up, so they have like zero followers and <laughs> But we're trying to get to a thousand followers. Wait, so, so that Andrew will wear a dress yeah. of mine. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. A thousand specifically on YouTube, not an aggregate of every social network. Okay. Thank we you might for have clarification. We might have a target goal for the other ones, but right now the only one I really care about is YouTube. Okay. So we're trying to because I want to I want to monetize the videos. So let's 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 be honest. I need subscriber count, watch time. Those are basically the only metrics they care about initially. Okay. Yeah. If it were, if we were doing shorts, we would need like ten million views. <laughs> so let's start with a thousand. Yeah. No, 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 views. I'm not talking about followers. Oh. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we're not focusing on that. Somebody else can edit that stuff for us if you want. If you want to chop up our videos, you're more than welcome. If you want to reimagine our branding. You're welcome to do that. Doesn't mean I'll use it, but you're welcome to present. I mean, fan art would be flattering. Draw a caricature of Nona. Fan art. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. Why is that a thing? I don't know. People get stuff all the time. Who? Who gets stuff all the time? I don't know. We probably need a mailbox at some point. We are nobodies. But somebody might be watching this episode in a year, and we might have 10 followers at that time. Okay. Let's shoot for 10. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we might have merch. One of my clients will potentially handle that for us. Um, print on demand type stuff. We won't warehouse anything. We won't handle any of the logistics. You'll pay us, but then we'll pay somebody else to do it. That's correct. Our logo is pretty neat. It's inspired by some retro pop art with a. Uh, Boy girl theme, blue and pink, um, even though neither of us like either of those colors. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we would love if anybody, if anybody's got some sort of talent that you think we can monetize off of you. Hey, I'm saying the quiet part out loud. Yeah, when you send something to your favorite whatever, podcaster, athlete, whatever, and they turn around and do something with it and financially gain off of it, that's the only reason why they did it. They're not going to, okay, you might have one in a million that are like genuine nice people that might want to like show off the thing that you sent them because they think it's cool. But for the most part, people are not going to do anything unless they can monetarily gain from it in some way, shape, or form. And that includes us. 
Thank you. You're welcome. So, that being said, if you want to send us anything currently, you can send it to our old address, 1264 South Burke Road, Winnebago, North Carolina, 28479. And eventually we'll get some sort of P.O. box or mailbox, but that's not today. Definitely not going to tell you guys where we live now because we have kids. So, yep, nobody's allowed to stalk my children. <clears throat> yep. And uh, that's been a nice trend, actually. That's kind of a good segue into some of the marriage and stuff. Um, people have been coming out saying, hey, you're going to see less of my family because you guys fucking suck. So, that people are finally catching on that you shouldn't be plastering your kids online because there are fucking sick people out there. Yeah. So, yeah. I appreciated seeing and hearing that. And that's the way this show is going to be, too. You guys will probably never see them. I'm sure somebody's going to go fucking stalk our profiles and think that they're going to be slick. Okay, cool. Go try and do that. Please don't. She's saying, please don't stalk the kids. You can go check out our social media profiles. Nona doesn't have personal profiles if you're just joining, so maybe one day. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. And before somebody says anything, no, I'm not the reason. I didn't say that she can't be on social media. <laughs> they can see you. <laughs> I'm not. Whatever you say, Andrew. Yeah, there we go. We'll just open Pandora's box on that. All the women that aren't watching this are going to blame me for you not having. Social media. Okay. So anyways, marriage <clears throat> and divorce. It's no secret that you are my second marriage, but I am your first. Mm -hmm. So, Andrew, what made me so special to be your first? Marriage, not first. First. Um... I don't know. Why do you got to put me on the spot like that? I'm not even prepared. <laughs> because. You were nice to me? If the standard is so low, then I'm the first girl who is nice to you. Then I feel pretty <laughs> shitty right now. No. I don't know. Does that have to just be one thing or one list of things? Why can't it be the total of everything? Well, you had multiple relationships before me. You have lived in multiple locations. There was never one person before me that you even considered. No. You say that with such conviction. Never had any plan, never bought any ring, never, yeah, no. Interesting. But would you say that at a certain point in our relationship, you kind of felt like if you didn't, then I would no longer. You mean like the ultimatum? Like in the. Kind of. I mean, obviously, I never gave you an ultimatum, but it kind of got to that point in our relationship that we had been together for so many years that it's just the next step. Well, I was trying to save up because I wanted to give you your dream wedding, and instead you got a, <laughs> you got something shitty that you didn't like, and with the hope and potential that after my house sells, we can do something. If you guys could see your facial expression right now. Okay. But I'm asking, did you actually even want to marry me? Because that's something that you dreamt about or fantasized about or thought about in a realistic term. Or was it essentially just the next step in our long-term relationship? I wanted to. And how did you come to that conclusion? I wanted to. You just woke up one day and said, all right, 
we're finally going to get married. I think the better way to look at it is up until a certain point, I didn't not want to. It just wasn't the time. Okay. And then after a certain point, it was like, should probably ask her to marry me. And I had made it very clear that I'd come out of a 10 year marriage where I no longer trusted anybody at that point, because if somebody can cheat the entire marriage, why would I trust with four kids? Right. Why would I trust another person? And so marriage was not even really something that I thought about because it's just not, um, it obviously wasn't important to the other person in my first marriage. And what she's saying in a lot of words is that I'm her dream husband. I had no kids. I didn't bring anything else in the relationship. I came with lots of baggage, suitcases and suitcases of baggage. That's a different kind of baggage though than what people are going to guess. Like what? What would you think that people are guessing when I say lots of baggage? People don't know you and, and know that the kids are not mine, biologically, Right. are going to probably assume that there was more than one dad. I get that. I, that's... I get that question all the time. Not limited to, but including doctor's offices. It's not like you change doctors or they change doctors very frequently. Right. They all still go to the pediatrician. Let's, let's make sure that we have the same dad here. I remember going to the grocery store one time with, uh, I think maybe all three of the little ones were with me. I know it was at least Chloe and one other. Mm -hmm. So it was either Chloe and Cash or Chloe and Charlotte or all three. Mm -hmm. And it was an older guy, the one in Leland, mm -hmm. who I'm pretty sure is a, a veteran. Cause he's, I believe he's worn a hat at some point, but um, he asked me one time if they were all mine. And at first I was like, no. Thinking that he was asking biologically. Right. And the look on Chloe's face was like sadness. And I was like, Aww. oh, shit. Fuck that up. You broke her heart. I didn't know what to, like, normally you have to correct people the other way. Aww. What? Well, I get that question all the time. And it's gotten to the point where I'll just say some random bullshit back of how I found these kids on the side of the road. It's like the obvious answer is, duh, they're all mine. Duh. Well, you could be shopping with somebody else's kid who stayed the night or yeah, a guess. cousin who's in town for a week. I guess, or... but my goodness, four children is just too much for people to process. Like, I remember I remember going to the store with like my cousins and stuff like that. I don't ever remember my parents or my family members, grandma, aunts or whatever being asked, but I also wasn't paying attention. I could see that. So. And I also wasn't sure what the kids were going to think if I did say yes. Like, were they going to be like, no, you're a stepdad. Like. I could see Cooper correcting that, but everybody else. I actually don't think so, because I'm pretty sure I've been asked or roundabout way I've been asked certain things like that, and I just say yes and I think he likes it or appreciates it. Okay. One day if he watches this, he can tell us. Okay. One day. And we'll let you know what he One says. One day after he's done going through puberty. Oh, God. Don't remind <laughs> me. No, I'm not talking about the sex stuff. I'm talking about just him having his yeah, temper yeah. tantrums. But he's quick to apologize. To you. Because, because I'm like, he don't knows. disrespect your mom. No. Well, because he knows that... You feed him. <laughs> Thanks. That's all I do for him is feed him. No, like he he had that, um, I don't know what you want to call it. His, he was upset the other day when he was like, nobody ever wants to hang out with me. Why do I have to hang out with you guys? And we're like, 
uh, no, we literally try to involve you in stuff and you want to sit in your room with your door locked. That's not us avoiding you, Cooper. That's you avoiding us. I thought he was actually like genuinely going to cry. And I think that he really thinks that him spending time in his room by himself is us not wanting to spend time with him. Oh, that's so sad. Like, how, what else can you derive from that? Yeah, no, I, I can see what you're saying. But at the same time, <laughs> when we invite him to do anything. I don't want to. No, thank you. Uh. No, thank you. No, thank you. Mm -hmm. Kerber, do you want to watch this movie with us? No, thank you. No, thank you. you. you want to stay at the table and talk while everybody finishes eating since you just How about picked this? up your plate and dip, dumped it in your mouth? Yeah. How about this? Tonight, we ask him what he would like to do and put him on the spot. <coughs> and then giving him an option for him to say no thank you to. Put him on the spot and say, what would you like to do? Okay, we'll try that. Okay. So, marriage and divorce, very messy. Both marriage and divorce are equally messy. I wouldn't know. You don't think marriage is messy? Not ours. Okay, not all the time. There's a mess here and there. You can't please everybody. That's not that's not being messy. Yeah. Being messy is the being caught cheating and fighting it out and staying together anyways. And... No, that, that's the big the big blowout messes. There are so many minor messes. Like. Like. Everything. Everything cool. in life is messy. And it's how you deal with those messes. Whether you're willing to put your needs aside and only give to the other. Or if you voice your concerns or otherwise. Oh, I have needs. Oh, you said I'm a robot. You're such a liar. Robots don't have needs. You are the most needy adult I've ever met. Oh my god. No. The, so way, the way that Whisper pants and wants attention all the time is the way that you pant and want attention at a time. Just like how you like assert your dominance walking around the grocery store holding my tits. Like so, Andrew. That's not something that happens, in case people are wondering. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I'll I'll hold her butt while she's walking. So, Andrew. And sometimes I'll fling her around towards me and give her a kiss. And I'll, no, I'll he will literally hold my boob and walk around. And then he'll stare down the person who's looking. Did you get a good look? It's because they're literally walking around the store with their wife and kids, looking Nona up and down. And so I'm just helping ensure that the next time they're in the store, they don't do that to somebody else's wife. While their wife is looking at cans of soup. So why do you change your shorts before we go to the store, Andrew? Because. Because why? Because I don't wear pajama pants and whatever else I've been lounging around in. What's the real reason? Because I don't wear underwear. And to assert your dominance. Well. Well. No. Yes. No. So that everybody will check him out. No. Some yes. just fit better. Sure. Yeah. I like the little silky. Whatever thing you say. For my, my ADHD tick. That's on your gym shorts. Yeah. Right. And then you take those off. Yeah. It's also to prevent me from doing that in public because it'd be weird. Okay. You don't want people seeing you stroking yourself in public? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably, 
<laughs> it's probably not something that anybody should be caught doing. All right, then don't do it. You don't want to have your pants around your ankles like Dahmer and an arcade. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Or fair. It's fair? The, yeah, the county fair. Yeah. Don't do that, Andrew. I would divorce you, by the way, if you did that. So how long did you stay in a relationship that you didn't want to be in? The marriage. Ten years. The whole ten years you didn't want to be in it? I found out he was cheating three months after we got married. So are the kids even yours? <laughs> what kind of fucking question is that? I'm just joking. Yes, I birthed all four of my children. You know, it's funny that I asked it that way. Would you like me to go into gory detail about how I birthed them? I've delivered babies. I've been in a C-section. Okay. It's part of clinicals that you have to do. Okay. Yeah. The only thing that I thought was weird is I'd... C-section's fucking violent. Mm-hmm. Two doctors on each side, mm -hmm. ripping, putting the little rubber, rubber baby slide mm -hmm. all up in the abdomen. It's probably the most violent surgery that you can have, and then you're expected to care for a child immediately after and leave the hospital. Hey, but some of them make the decision to do that rather than natural birth. I'm not talking about the people who decide. But well, this for the people that don't decide, normally there's. Some yeah, sort this, of this isn't a debate of vaginal versus C-section. What is better? I'm just stating the obvious that a C-section is probably the most violent surgery you can have, and you're expected to care for a newborn immediately and after then, and be discharged. And then, and then you've got rich people who just pay for somebody else to carry their kids so they don't have to deal with it. Okay. Well, anyways. Anyways. So what was it like being with somebody who'd had four vaginal deliveries? Normal. Normal, he says, with no conviction in his voice. Normal. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and what made you decide to get into a relationship with somebody who was... The mom of four and <laughs> going through a divorce at the time. Because now I have minions to take over the world. Oh, so there was a plot. Yeah, of course. There's always plot a plot. Plot thickens. Yeah. So what is the the goal? Take over the world. Right. How? Cash is going to lead the army. Okay, I can see that. Yeah. He's the youngest, by the way, if you guys don't know that. Cooper is going to... Be in charge of uh, logistics and I knew you're gonna say that development mm -hmm. and yeah Absolutely. weapons development yeah Absolutely yeah and then Chloe Chloe will she'll be like um the the daughter or sister in Yellowstone Okay I could see that Yeah yeah And then what about Charlotte She'll just be in jail <gasps> What <laughs> <laughs> You are terrible. No, she'll be she'll be the um, the uh, propaganda artist. Okay. She'll yes. do the. She she'll loves do, art. Yeah, she'll do the artwork. She'll do the marketing and promotion and yeah, theme development. Okay, you've you've got it all planned out, and um, nobody needs to investigate us further because none of this is going to come into fruition. So, anyways. Um, Flu mission? Well, now you're making me second guess myself. It's not flu. Fruition. It's a typo. Or it's a speaking. You can't speak a typo. Can you? No. Come to fruition. Is it fruition or fluition? Fruition. See synonym, synonym. Oh my God, I can't even say synonyms for fruition on thesaurus.com. Fruition is a real word.
Australia, stop it. <laughs> What's the, what is the website? What did that say? Fluition.com.au. I'm also going on there. I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fruition. I'm right on this one. While she's scrolling her phone, I'm... you guys can stare at my face for once. Oh, why isn't it? There we go. Look, there's a big hole in the wall. Or there's another wall behind it. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Just, just admit that I was right, and we can move on. Well, now I'm... Just admit that I was right, and we can move on. Somebody will correct us in the comments. We can revisit this on the next episode. Okay. 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 I'll let it go. Okay. Make sure you guys find us everywhere that podcast audio is available. If you don't have a specific app or you build your own thing and you would like to subscribe to our RSS feeds, those are available on the website. They're also available in the description of all of the audio and video files across YouTube and Spotify and everywhere else. Um, everything is nicely and neatly packaged and labeled. I make our descriptions pretty concise. Uh, we've got time, time stamps you can click on. on YouTube. I know all of the things. I know all of the technical things. He's so and proud I, of himself. I'm not good at the creative stuff, though. So if it looks like shit and it sounds like shit, it's because we're using amateur equipment. It's because we are shit. But on the technical side, we're good to go. And okay. our show is going to grow quicker than other people that I know um, because they didn't want to listen to me. He likes throwing people under the bus, by the way. No, 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 no. Nope, nope, yes, nope. yes, 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 yes. No, yes. no, no. I have a proven methodology with actual results. They are still clients of mine to this day and still... And I was doing the work for free, and they still didn't want to follow through with it. Not my problem. There's only so much you can do. What's the saying? Leave the horse to water, but you can't force it to drink? Yes, that is the saying. Yep. So, if I ever give you free advice... Take it with a grain of salt. Try it. See if it works. And then when it does, you can give me credit. Whatever you say. That's all I ask is for a little bit of credit for my big brain. <laughs> That's his favorite <clears throat> big brain. Yeah. I don't know everything. I don't know everything. I know. I know most of it. I don't know everything. Whatever you say. For those listening and not watching... She stripped her clothes off just then. Oh, my God. You are really trying to get people to watch this video hoping to see me naked. They know better. They know if it's on YouTube that it's not true. Oh, yeah? What happens on YouTube? We would be demonetized and we would be deplatformed and we wouldn't have a podcast. You don't so. think that's going to happen with your plan to take over the world using my four children? No, absolutely not. Okay, whatever you say. Yeah, no. They're going to read it in the transcript and be like, these people are fucking delusional. Yes, he is. No. We. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> no. So anyways. So anyways. We were talking about cheating during marriage. Have you? No, I have not. Would you like to answer if you know anybody who has are you trying to prompt me or are you just sure is there somebody i'm supposed to be thinking of right now i don't know is there anybody that you can think of lots of people okay <laughs> one in particular really that you oh oh yeah talk about on this podcast I didn't say that. You're the one that said that you wanted to air people's dirty laundry. Okay, let's go for it. I'm not going to say any names, though. Okay. 
That's not happening. Pineapple people. That's what sure. Yeah. We'll call them pineapple people. Their their well, well, their words, not ours. Is it their? That's what I'm starting to say. Is it their words or is it her words? Okay, her words. Yeah. Not ours. He is not a participant. Right. He also doesn't know. Right. As far as we know. Or he might and right. just acts dumb. Just to be clear, cut this person out of my life over a year ago. So I have no idea if things have blown up since then. But when I cut that person out of my life. I'm kind of a zero tolerance kind of person for that kind of stuff. I was instrumental in bullying her into doing that. He was, <laughs> which I I would say that I have a zero tolerance policy for cheating in general, but this person was important to me, so I kept forgiving them. Needless to say, that <coughs> sounds a lot like my previous marriage. So, as you can see, I have a history of forgiving people for cheating indiscretions. Well, you were trying to parent her. Okay, I'll give you that as well. Trying to teach her the wrongs. Try to. No, you mean not teach her the wrongs. Right, right, right. We're sorry, I'm sorry. Te teach her to not do the wrong, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, so. Yeah, she would go around telling Nona stories and Nona would be like, are you stupid? I don't want to hear this. And then she would continue like acting like it was something to be proud about. Mm -hmm. And as far as I know, they were all within walking distance of her home and they were all uh, done in her home underneath her husband's Watchful eye, or not so watchful eye in this case. Is he just drugged up all the time? I don't know. Honestly, I really don't know. But yeah. Is he so, drugged up when he's working, do you think? Or only when he's... Probably after. I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know anything about him personally, really. Hmm. But that does make me think that if all that was going in... Our previous neighborhood with multiple affairs I can only imagine the things that happen in neighborhoods everywhere else. So now I want to know. See, I I view this these days like not only is like somebody's gonna find out for one. But so, I but I think of it like any other crime at this point. Everybody has right. a no. doorbell camera so, or so, a security camera. Right, and I, I'll, I'll tell this story real quick. So a neighbor did come forward. I told you this story. A neighbor came forward to the wife of the first man that she was having the affair with. And this, this affair went on for well over a year. And a neighbor came forward with doorbell footage and talked to the wife of the man that she was having the affair with and ultimately, that person was so shamed by the entire block that they had to sell their house and move because they were told, oh, you're crazy, you're crazy, you're delusional, you're just making things up that you're seeing her walk at 1130 at night on the doorbell camera coming out of his garage and stuff like what and, else are you doing at 11.30 and, 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 and every, <laughs> everybody else has gone to bed? And everybody, even when they're not actually being nosy, when people see something or hear something or catch something on their camera, they notify you right. and say, hey, I saw this. Or the other way around, hey, our car got broken into. Right. Did you by chance catch it on your camera? Like everybody talks and communicates about mm -hmm. it. It's not like back in the day where you literally had to be peeking out the blinds to see what was going on like mm -hmm. you can passively catch people now and then the second wife of the man that she was having the affair with um caught them on their doorbell camera and threatened to use that footage in court when they were going through their divorce because she ended their marriage and threatened to send it to her husband as well 
and because she was already so in tune with how to be a good cheater, and I'm saying that disgustingly. You're um, saying that she, she was, is empowered by not being caught. She was checking her husband's phone religiously and was able to delete everything that was coming from the wife directly to him before she and he could get it. For the people watching, I gave her a look, but it didn't mean anything. <laughs> you're right. It doesn't mean anything. I have no access to his phone, if that's what you're getting at. You know my pins. You could eventually. Chloe's got access to stuff. I have no stuff. idea what your pins are. I think I might know, like, one number. I'm just... But Chloe has access to my laptop, and there are ways... But he doesn't leave the house, so I don't have to worry about him cheating. <laughs> well, even if I did, you know where I am. Uh-huh. Here at the house. <laughs> no, I meant if I leave. Oh, yeah. When I, I was working uh, a job in the Raleigh area a couple of years ago, and the first place that I was staying at. Sketchy. Yeah. So sketchy. So I was like, hey, let's send you my location on Google Maps. <laughs> if uh, you notice anything weird, you know. Report it yeah. or come up here and see if you can find yeah. my body. And then I just never disabled it. And I never check it. I really don't. Well, you get notifications for two locations. Yeah, I get an email true. like every couple months. It's like, hey, just to remind I, you. I don't get an email. I know. I do. Oh, gotcha. I get an email. It's like, hey, just in case you didn't know somebody's tracking you, this person is uh, tracking you. Gotcha. And to just these in two case locations. I was being sneaky and had set it up on my end or yeah. something. Yeah. Got it. I don't even know how to do. Well, you can't. I have to invite you first, or you would have to do it See? through my phone to invite you. Yeah. But anyways. And then, well, remember Aaron last year? We had the air tag from his wife, but it was non-malicious. It was literally his wife was still in Indiana, and he was down here on vacation with both boys, right? No, he only had one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but... That's a weird trip. And their their the air tag was going off because it had been disconnected from her phone for long enough. But it was literally like for his backpack or something like that. Or I don't remember what it was. I have no idea. But seemingly Apple and Google have fixed that problem by allowing you to detect trackers even if they're not outside that window yet. Theoretically, I could find one if it was on me or my vehicle. And I actually wondered if you ever put one on my vehicle. I don't have an iPhone, so I couldn't set it up. Any tracker? No, no tracker. Okay. Okay. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. What would I need to? I don't know. It just seems like something you would do. You always have the kids with you. If you were going to cheat with the kids, one of them is going to say <laughs> I didn't... Oh, my God. I wasn't even thinking about cheating. Man, I'm just like... They all have a different way of, like, talking about things. And there's no way to, like, preemptively hush them because then you that puts it on their mind. Mm -hmm. And then they slip up. And you know Charlotte can't keep a secret for anything. Well, it's not even that she can't keep a secret. It's that she intentionally wants to be the one that to share everything. Yeah, she wants did to be cool. Did you know? Cool. Did you know this happened? Yeah, she wants to be she wants to be cool, so she wants to be the first one to say it so mm -hmm. that she can get the credit or the prize, the prize of nothing. The cred, credibility. Stupid. Yeah. <coughs> so no, I'm not worried. Somebody's going to say something now in the comments and be like, yeah. "Sammy, I'm I'm going to try now." What? Somebody's going to try and hit on you or something. All right. Show them how you walk around the grocery store again, just to remind them. Okay. Yeah. Takes full control. So anyways, <laughs> would you like to sh share a cheating story in your... Do I have one? I don't know. You just said you could think of plenty of people cheating. Well... I've had sex with a married woman, but I didn't know she was married. Oh, 
My goodness. So you were an active participant in cheating. Just because you didn't know doesn't mean you helped facilitate somebody. I didn't know. And this was the summer before you and I met, correct? Yeah. And you said that you ran into them, the couple that yeah. were still together at the gym. Mm -hmm. uh, and he didn't say anything to you? No. Because he probably doesn't know. And why didn't you say something? Hey, by the way, I fucked your wife. Because you say I start to make conflicts to begin with. Well, you enjoy starting conflicts, so I'm actually surprised you didn't. I don't enjoy starting conflicts. I just don't care. So you didn't care that she was married? I didn't know until after. Right, but, and that didn't bother you at all? You didn't feel used? No, I just stopped. It only was one time and I just stopped talking to her. So how many one night stands have you had? three four interesting because i'm pretty sure you told me you only have had relationships not one night stands it's because overwhelmingly that's true okay whatever you say so besides sleeping with a married woman and enjoying every 2.5 seconds of it what else would you like to add to this conversation about cheating don't don't that is the overwhelming response yeah. don't cheat yeah. because if you do you likely will end a marriage i won't but somebody else will i was saying you in a i know Okay. Don't cheat. I am curious whatever happened to the last couple that she entwined herself in. Because the first one, I believe, are still together, even with overwhelming evidence presented. The second couple did result in a divorce. Some people, some guys and some women know that they're not going to find the equivalent or an upgrade after the fact, so they cling to it. What do you mean? Give me... Like, okay, say you're a guy, you're four, and you're dating a 10. Okay. You're probably going to try and cling to that as long as you possibly can because it's probably the first time that you've ever fucking hit a home run in your life. Okay. I'm just wondering where you're going with this. That's... So when you're talking about people staying together, even with overwhelming evidence, that's a potential reason why. Um, they would rather be cheated on than have to try and find somebody else that is that same quality of appearance or financially in some cases. Okay, understand. I just wasn't understanding because we were talking about the, the wives who were being presented with the evidence. And the men, the but husbands it, it, were the ones cheating. But it can be the other way. Like I said, it, the wife might be, and obviously, you know, your perception of somebody is not the same as anybody right. else's. Of course. There are people that clearly everybody thinks is attractive, and there are people that clearly everybody thinks is unattractive. Okay. And then there's a spectrum within of somebody finds something attractive, somebody else doesn't find it attractive at all. Some people are only attracted to the body. Some people are attracted to the face. Some people are attracted to both. Bobs. Mm -hmm. You and your bobs. Yeah. So. Bobs and vagine. Some... All you care about. No, and face. No, be, you just want a bob and vagine. No, I can't be caught in public with an ugly person. <sighs> so then how did you go to Costco with Mel? I wasn't dating her. Okay. People thought you guys were husband and wife. And corrected it? That's not what she said. 
Okay. Ja. Bob's and Vagine. I know the difference. My perception is based on my perception. Okay. There's a way that I walk in the store with you versus the way that I walk in the store with anybody else. Yeah. You literally drag me around by my tits. No. Yeah. And I'm a fast walker, but boy, do you like to drag me. No. I feel like you're just going to drag me on here, too. No. No. I hold your hand or I push the cart and then I tell you to slow down. By hold my hand, you mean hold my boobs. You're exaggerating. Okay. Let's roll the footage of every single grocery store we've ever walked into together. Uh, um, devil? I love how you're looking up for devil. <laughs> I'll be looking down. No, I don't believe any of that stuff. I don't either, but yeah. you were just looking in the wrong direction. No, I was doing it intentionally. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to offend all of America. Don't care. I know you don't. I don't care about your religion. So you that can keep it. segues ways into the next love versus hate. I think there's a fine line in marriage between love and hate. No. Yes. No. I think every wife can agree with me on this one. No. No. You can both hate and love your husband no. all in the same. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. You either love or you don't. You can love somebody and then they can hurt you and you can hate them no. or something else can happen and you can hate them, but no. 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 Just you breathing is exhausting. I think you and I have uh, different definitions as to what can be constituted as a hateful act. I'm not talking about no. intentionally harming somebody or doing something terrible like cheating. I just mean you existing. There is a fine line. No. You just hate that I can get through life without a schedule. <laughs> For those of you who are just listening, my life just flashed before my eyes. I'm spontaneous. Spontaneous in the sense that you don't go anywhere or do anything, so therefore you don't have a schedule because you are here the entire... No, I go places. I go places. You don't go anywhere. Finding happiness. What made you, besides Mel's mom saying, there's tits outside, you need to go look, what made you decide to reach out to me? I didn't know that you were the same person at that point. What? You got, There was like three or four of you. I was just... just to be clear. We'll backtrack a little bit to our, our last episode. We talked about how we met during COVID. I stayed on the other side of the yard, never got close to him. He was told to go outside because there were tits outside that he needed to see. This was a pretty big party as far as COVID standards go. And we had all the pop-up canopy tents in the driveway, people to hang out while they were grilling. There was a slip and slide on the side yard, like... There's a lot going on. It wasn't just like she was 50 feet away from me and I was over here. We were the only two people in existence. Right. It was, we were talking about fire. I was with my children at the slip and slide. I never left the slip and slide. And I was yelling out to the crowd, the crowd. what we were doing because we were going to do the fireworks there, mm -hmm. but he had posted right. and some, some Karen in the neighborhood right. had called the police. Didn't want people hanging out together. So police showed up, made sure everybody stayed outside, mm -hmm. and then said that they had seen the picture of the fireworks and said that they better not get called. So we just moved them all to my house. 
And then everyone in the cul-de-sac participated, lighting them off. And I mean, we had there was a there were a lot of people, which was crazy when that guy showed up this past year and thought they were going to put on a big show. And we're like, no, man, just the neighbor went and picked up. A, like people remembered it. I had done it a couple of years prior. We had spent a couple thousand dollars, um, but it was before the pines was extended. Mm-hmm. Right. You did it and by be- my old house. Yeah, before the forest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they just had happened to clear land right before there. And what better place to do fireworks than when there's literally nothing but dirt? Right. Until I tried to set my truck on fire accidentally. Yeah, because you are a br- brilliant human being. And then you took a married woman home that night. So, yeah, you did lots of terrible things that night. Mm-hmm. 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 Is that really how it happened? I'm mm, pretty sure that's how that happened. I don't know. So anyways, back to the story of how we met. Where was I going with that? <laughs> oh, I was I was filling them in. Why was I filling them in? Because in your mind, it's more interesting than it really is. <laughs> I don't know. No, I was talking about finding happiness. Oh, what made you then reach out to me after I left? I don't know. What was your goal in sliding into my DMs? I didn't have one. We already talked about this. You think that I was literally intentionally trying to hit on you. Well, I turned I was... you down and you just kept talking oh, to me. Oh, that's why. I, no, I was literally inviting everyone that I could. Right, and I turned you down and you kept talking to me and you wouldn't let up. No. Yeah. No. We've already scrolled back in the messages. I proved you right on that. But I wasn't trying to hit on you. You just happened to be somebody living in the neighborhood and I was trying to make more friends. Okay. (laughs) So, as a married person now, would you still do that if you were supposedly just trying to make friends with somebody? No. Right. So, my point being, you were single. But that's a factor of not wanting to upset you. Not that I wouldn't still try and make friends and invite people over, but I'm not going to reach out to some random neighbor because then if they don't like it and then they find you and they're like, oh, well, your husband was trying to talk to me in my DMs. Like, no, I just don't put myself in stupid situations. Okay. So it sounds like you're saying what you did was stupid at all times. No. It's normal for people that aren't in a relationship to do that. That's how people in the but technology you kept era talking to me for a reason. There wasn't a reason. You were responding. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, Andrew. It is. Okay. Yeah. I was trying to help you with your business. Okay. Yeah. And then we had a business meeting at the beach and lunch. Yeah. There was no other reason that you were messaging me. Not at that time initially, no. I did not think that you found me attractive. I was just trying to help out. I don't believe a word that he's saying. It's true. And we have scrolled back in the original messages. And we've already had this conversation. And it's still true. Okay. Whatever you say. It is what I say. Anyways, so have you found happiness now? Yeah, I told you I've been happy the whole time. The whole time? The whole time. I don't believe that. Nobody is happy every single day of their marriage. I am. (laughs) I am. Because I don't subscribe to other social norms that I don't care about like you try and say that uh, certain things that I do or say or act or anything like that are like weird or whatever but I am a happier person overall because I disconnect from those things like I don't care what other people think give me an example like I don't care what friends or family or whatever think about somebody that I'm dating or married to or anything like that. Not that it's ever been an issue, but 
I don't care. Like when a friend's like, oh, I don't like your girlfriend or I don't like your wife. I'm like, okay, cool. That's your problem, not mine. Okay. Yeah. It's like, it's easy for me to cut anybody off at any point in time. I don't latch on to people or feel like I need them in my life or anything like that other than the person that I want to be with. So it's not a problem to me. So I'm happy because I don't care what other people think. Okay. Okay. It's true. Do you have any questions for me? Do I have any questions for you? Are you happy? Oh, she hesitated. Look at her face. Look at her. Let's, let's transition to her only. Are you happy? Um, I don't know if I'll ever be happy, I'll be honest. She wants money. Send us money so I can make her happy. <laughs> now that makes me sound like a gold digger, the way that you put that. You didn't deny it. No, I mean, I'm stressed for sure, paying all these bills. I'm your sugar mama now. Mm. You're living here rent free. Mm. I pay all the bills. Mm. It's a dynamic that I never thought that I would be in. My ideal marriage would be, yes, being taken care of. Yeah, but we are never, as a society, going to be able to get back to that because politicians won't let us. And so there is... And so you have been the safety net and only because you had a job you weren't scrambling to find a job to be clear i do make money it's it's exhausting and i still have to pay for a house and the bills and stuff like that that come over i'm not fully freeloader for people that are listening and don't know who we are it's exhausting taking care of everybody i signed up for taking care of four children that was my choice but is it, it is exhausting taking care of another adult. Imagine having to take care of five people. See? I'm a much better person than you make me out to be. But you don't take care of me. Have is the point. Okay. And I buy you flowers. That counts for something. Yes, thank you for the... <laughs> Flowers, they are sweet. She's actually acting right now. She's not actually this sad. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just spit. Where? I just like saw a spit fly when I like choked on that laugh. You don't choke. You've never choked. Okay, so now you're going to start like a whole meme trend about how I have no gag reflex. <sighs> Thanks. Well. <laughs> See? He's exhausting. I, I am nothing of the sort. You are an exhausting human being. No, I'm pleasant. I'm nice. Okay. Yeah. I'm a foot and a half taller than you. Which is something <laughs> that you love. You seem to think that height is a bearing on sweetness. It is. I'm taller than you, so therefore I'm nicer than you. Yeah, because my niceness has to permeate through more of me to get to you. <laughs> this has been the He's Wrong She's Right Podcast, Episode 3. Find us all over social media. Come find us on YouTube to see how Nona stares at me. So that you can meme that you wish that you had a woman that looked at you the way Nona looks at me. If only I could cut daggers with my eyeballs. Well, it's like an erotic look. You look like you're happy. Oh. Yeah. I think he's seeing what he wants to see. No, I'm seeing exactly what's true. <laughs> Would you like to say anything else before we sign off? Goodbye. Will we film another episode this week? Yes, when, we will. When and don't it... cheat on your wife. Or yeah, husband. No. no. I had something else I wanted to say earlier and I don't remember. 
Something. 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 It was important. Importante. Yeah, see, that was the ADD. I had two options in that moment. Forget it or interrupt you. And I forgot it. I'm sorry. But I didn't. The, the point to recognize here is that I didn't interrupt her. See? Winning. 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 I love you. Love you too. See? She loves me, guys. I'm the best. Goodbye. Bye.